He's eyeing me, you see that? He's like, oh, I, I, I'm pretty sure oh I can hit that. He went cross-eyed. Oh, oh, there he goes, he's in! <laughs> he's like, I'm definitely gonna hit that. Uh, Chick is trying to get it. Oh, Spyro's trying to present himself. He just licked his hand and then did like the little kitty cat grooming thing. That chicken's trying to get up. Oh. <laughs> Welcome back to Dungeons and Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> I cocked him. Gave him the straight Charles Dickens. Keep in mind, Yuko, nobody can hear you over there. Yeah, I think it's Okay. I mean, it's not like we don't want to hear you. We love you. Dude, my throat fucking hurts. I'm not off to a good start tonight. Oh, take my dick out of your mouth. <laughs> I feel like I'm getting old. Doing opera yells now fucking pulls a muscle, apparently. <laughs> that was really weird. Oh, there he goes. I got the gem for it. That's pretty cool. Hey! Is he gonna throw the other one? Yeah, he sure is. What the fuck are these guys? Ooh, they made everything so shiny. Yeah, everything's really bright and reignited. Everything's all Unreal 4. More like re brighted Am I <laughs> right? Because they jacked up the brightness. Look at this bitch, she's like, uh, yeah, I got better things to do. <laughs> this arrow in my head is an accessory. Was there an arrow in her head? No, oh, it was like a little hairpiece. Uh oh. That's a little piece. I thought you meant like it was like... She goes, do you like my hairpiece? And you go, duh, <laughs> I love what? your hairpiece. I, I thought it was piercing her brain for I a second. I love to get the hairpiece. Spyro's kind of a murderer. I love to go behind the local alleyway and get hairpiece. <laughs> Do you like this herpes? They sell the herpes. There's b selling herpes down the street. They say once you get the herpes, it stays with you forever. But I've lost my herpes. You know what I can't wait for? For your herpes to come back? Yeah. Yeah, no, that shit stays. Shit. No, I can't wait till we're really well known one day and then somebody's like, these guys are assholes, and they like take all our like our stupid jokes that we make out of context. And like, <laughs> I would love for someone to take anything I say out of context. Me too. Because like I already do that. So for someone to do that and be like, oh, well, well, uh, that's I, I guess I guess I'll set an example. You know, I'll I'll sit there and someone will edit things to be like, you know, I fuck cats. <laughs> like I don't. But someone's not gonna say, you know, edit out the part that I don't. They're just gonna be like, oh, Slate said he fucks cats, even though he said, you know, immediately after that he doesn't. Oh, what a fucking asshole. <laughs> if somebody takes something out of context, it makes it so it sounds like Genko said he fucks cats. I'm not even gonna get offended. I'm just gonna start fucking cats so it becomes true. What? No, you, <laughs> no, you see, see what happened is I already said that I fuck cats, and then you said he fucks cats. So what's gonna happen is I'm gonna be like, I fuck cats, and then someone's gonna be like, yeah, oh, yeah, and then, uh, you know, Ginko, Ginko was there, he saw it, he was live on the scene. You he was just a party go, to the cat and, fucking. And, and you just, and you just go, he fucks cats. <laughs> Silence. <laughs> yeah, no, I, I feel like that's, that's the, that's the next joke in the, uh, in the transition. You know, sometimes you joke about, like, a pressing topic, like bestiality, and then, you know, dead silence to let it sink in. Is this Siddiqui? Metalhead is all charged up to me. I thought he'd be like attacking the foreign should disrupt his power supply. What, because of the staff? No, because of his name. What what does the staff have? Um you know, I have no problems with foreigners. I used to work with a man who would very poorly sing Rihanna. Oh, it's the green ones we can hit, okay. I couldn't understand a goddamn word he said. Whoa, you can make him destroy his own but things? But he would go, Oh, no, no, my name. I don't think you could do that in the old one. Oh, yeah, no, there he goes. He, he done did He destroyed all his own it. shit. I don't think that was in the old game. Oh, have fun. Not too... You should stay. You still have 12 hours before you have to go to work. Baby, party. Party, party, party. We're gonna have a party. Party, party, party. We're gonna have a party. I believe in you. We believe in you. Oh, oh, which, oh that's a cat. Hello, cat. Yeah, you gotta. Don't I go. have a key? Oh, nope. that's in the other level. That's in the overworld. Yeah, you, you gotta do the go around thing. That's not how you. 
That's not how I live. That's not how I you, be. No, that, that's exactly how you live. But the thing about it is, um... You, you, just, gotta, you just gotta not get hit. I'm good at that. At you know the, how good the, I am uh, at not getting end, hit. At the end of the day, you just gotta ask yourself, um, what am I willing to put up with you guys? <laughs> oh, that's it? He's dead? Damn. Just like that. I thought I had to, like, hit him afterwards. I got no spacks. Maybe, maybe back in the day. How do I get up there? Uh, I think you gotta back back a ways. No, wait, no, there's a little, little, oh, right, right. little whirly gig over there. But to get the key, you gotta backtrack. Yeah, I love backtracking. That's why all my tracks go back. Go back, go back. Gotta pass. <laughs> Play these shitty games that suck ass. I think Spyro holds up pretty well. Oh yeah, no, I'm not. I'm not saying this is a shitty game that sucks ass. That, that was just like the what's his name? Oh, I just oh, did that the thing. Was, that was the that thing. was the thing. Isn't that just fucking cute? How it only works sometimes. <laughs> works like almost never. It works maybe one time out of like 152. Dude, my fucking throat hurts. I fucked up my throat. Um, maybe, uh, have you tried applying some lubricant? <laughs> Did you try working the shaft? <laughs> Ooh. Ooh. I hope this doesn't continue to hurt. My back is killing me from having the team on it. I like you can't swallow. Having the team on it. You ever, you ever just put the team on your back? He's carrying the team. Like, the, like put the team on your back. You know, and, carrying and then, the team. And then your back hurts. Doing all the work. Yeah. <laughs> your face made it look like you didn't get it. <laughs> I'm tired. <laughs> oh, I love cake. Me too. Okay, they do some good songs. Like, um, I will survive. First, I was afraid. I, I want a girl afraid. with a, some, some short I skirt. I want a girl with a short skirt and a dong. And that's, that's, <laughs> that's, that's the end I of the song. Fucking... So we can jack it. No, no, no. All right, there's, uh, there's a little cave off to the side. You gotta, like, look down. And there's, like, the little... That little area. On the, on the behind. Uh, Fuck my anus. That over there. Okay, so when when you get reignited. Yeah, that's me getting reignited. There we go. Reigniting! Reignite. Forgot that you said that. Uh, you gonna wanna go up there. Yeah. It's gonna be it's gonna be down and then on your left. Your other left. My other left. Fuck! God fucking fuck! See it? Yeah. I remember it now from the old game. It just looks so different. I'll check it out. I'm just gonna break the wrist, walk away. Break, the wrist, walk away. <laughs> break my dick, walk away. Already broken. Wait. How would I know that? Game theory. Yay! There we go. Um, Okay. 311. 411. 411 is what you dial for like movie <laughs> time or some shit. Dude, is 411 still a thing? I don't see why it wouldn't be. Can they go out of business? Do they make money? Uh, These are the I questions. Like, I feel like it's a toll free number. These are the questions. This is why so, I'm like, here. Maybe, maybe it's like a toll free. No, no, it wasn't. You probably charged out the ass when you pay when you dialed oh. 401. It was like 75 cents per call. Oh well, um. My family hated me because one day I had the genius idea of prank phone calling 401 like 80 times in a day. <laughs> I'd call them and be like, "Do you know what time it is?" <laughs> yeah, no, I would uh steal uh wait wait wait. You missed uh, those ones. Fuck! I remember one time. Oh no! No! God! 
I stole one of my parents' cellular devices to go on the internet and look up some pornography. But what I didn't realize was that you don't get unlimited internet usage. So, uh, a little, a little, uh, a little adolescent, uh, you know, sexually, a sexually inactive but wanting to be active slate was, uh, <laughs> racking up a phone bill of, uh, like a thousand dollars. Be a parent? My brother did that, yeah, too. Yeah, trying, trying to look up some, uh, look up some titties. Wow. And some Pugini. How did I... Okay, so it's uh the, other the sparklies on the other side. Yeah, my brother did that. He um fucking he when we had Comcast at when we still lived with my parents um he went he went on Comcast and just bought like two hundred and fifty dollars worth of porn all in one day. I mean, to be fair, you need to set the password. Otherwise, the default is zero 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 zero. And so, uh, kids, if, uh, your parents don't care about security, you know, try it out. See if your, uh, see if your pay-per-view password is, uh, four zeros. Then, you know, get some porn. Or try password. Or, uh, or, like, watch, like, you know, WrestleMania or something. I don't know. I mean, they're, they're both, they're both essentially the same thing. Yeah, basically. Except one's fake. Well, I don't talk to- <laughs> Tell the microphone. Okay, okay, microphone, uh, transition. Yuko here, I have a question for Slate and Ginko. How old were you when you discovered porn, and how? Uh... <laughs> well, I know how, internet. Really? <clears throat> um... I don't know. Wait, I don't go know. back, go back, you're gonna miss the... Gonna oh, miss you're the right, key. you're right. I don't know when I did, though. I can't fucking remember. Sometime between 11 and 14. <laughs> Surely before I was, uh, 14. I was nine years old. Too, yeah. I was hanging out with my brother and his friend, and I was being an obnoxious little shithead, which apparently little brothers are known to do. And <laughs> shut me up, my, uh, my brother's friend was just like, here's this magazine, and it was a Playboy. And, uh, it was, uh... That'll show you up a former, couple of years. <laughs> yeah, you know, for, former WWE superstar China was the centerfold. And, you know, it was relevant because I was into wrestling at the time. And I was just like, wait, what? That's a wall. That's a wall. <laughs> oh, a wall. Yeah, because first you see some sultry poses, and then, you know, you get a little boobers, and then you got the wham, boobers? bam. Like yeah. the, like the, Did full you see spread, the full spread front pocket. Stealing your microphone again. I was also nine years old slate. I was downstairs because my mom asked me to go do the laundry to get the laundry out of the dryer. And so I went to grab the laundry. My dad left one of his magazines out. That shit was scary. Ugh. Scary. So to any and all dads uh, watching this from home. Uh, <laughs> Maybe do a better job at hiding your porn. Here you go. Your turn. Take on treetops. And or just like, you know, switch to the internet. Next it's, time. It's really, e it's really easy. And like, as long as you don't download anything, you won't break your fucking phone. So like, do that. I'd also like to mention the internet didn't come out until I was like 12. It was out. You just didn't have it until you were 12. Well, it... We didn't know what internet was until I was like 12. So that was in like 2000. I got it really early because my dad worked at a huge computer company. I didn't have internet. That was a really funny jump you just did. That was really good. I didn't have internet access until I was like 16 years old. <laughs> I started using the internet when I was like nine, which was 1999. <laughs> when I Well, you weren't 12 in 1999. You were 12 in 2003. <laughs> Wait. Yeah, I was 12 in 2003. <laughs> no, 2003, I Wait. was 10. No. It... 
No, in 2003, I was 13. I don't know math anymore. All right, next time on Dungeons and Drinks, we're going to take on treetops where more, there's lots of numbers. monkeys. And, um, and a partridge and a pear tree. You ever notice that, like, the first, like, eight days of Christmas are basically just a shitload of birds? Yeah. Oh. And did you ever realize that Christmas in general is just, uh... Shitty? Yeah, I mean, basically. I don't know where I was going to go with it. I was going to say probably something along the lines of, like, some fucking... Uh... Whatchamacallit. Scam? Oh, yeah. You think I got money to pay for that shit? Yeah, that's My the jewel fifth day. Yeah, then every consecutive day after that, like, nah, I ain't got no money to be buying no bitch, no golden rings. I said, like, the first eight days are, like, birds. I'll get you, like, a can of... I'd say crazy nights. It's 12 days of Christmas. The first eight are, like, all birds. Except for the fifth. Uh... I mean, the first one's also a tree. All right, all right. Next time on Ender Knights, we're 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 gonna go. We're calling birds. Three French hens. Two turtle doves. Uh. And fuck. And a and a in a pear tree. No, you can't in a tree. Oh god! Oh no! 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 <laughs> That's why. Laughing. Oh, we haven't seen one of those guys in a while. Did we miss any in the other level? Or were they just not there? Uh, I just weren't there.